So hello everyone, Dewey Khan here. And today for my expose, I will be presenting on L'Equipe de France, France's national soccer team. So before we begin, I kind of like to explain why I chose this topic. Um, I myself, as you can see by the jersey, am a very big fan of Le Bleu, uh, the France national soccer team. I fell in love with the sport of soccer from watching France play ever since I was young. Um, even as a kid, I actually learned Le Marseillaise, which is the French national anthem, just so I can sing it kind of with the crowd on TV before watching their matches. Uh, my favorite player of all time is Zinedine Zidane, who you can see in the picture on the left in the white jersey. So yeah, watching France play soccer, Fran watching the France national team play soccer ever since I was young really played a big role in kind of sparking my interest into French culture. So going into some facts about the team, um, currently the manager is Didier Deschamps. He became the manager in 2012, replacing Laurent Blanc. Uh, he's been pretty successful so far. He led the team to a second place finish in the 2016 European Championships and a first place finish in the 2018 World Cup. Um, he, is also, he also was a former player and he was actually a part of the 1998 World Cup winning squad. They are nicknamed Le Bleu, from the blue home jerseys they wear, as you can see on the right. Um, and even at their matches, you can hear the crowd chant, Allez le bleu. Their home stadium is the Stade de France in Saint Denis, um, in the Saint Denis suburb uh, of Paris. That stadium was inaugurated in 1998, right before the 1998 World Cup, hosted by France. They may play a few games here and there all around France. Um, but their official home is the Stade de France in Saint Denis. And soccer legend Terry Henry has the most goals for the, his, for the history of the team with 51 goals and 123 appearances. So diving into the history of the team, um, at first, France was never really a big kind of world power in soccer. They never really won anything significant, but that all changed in 1972 when the Institut National de Football was established in Vichy, France. This created um, an organization along with it, a training facility that specialized in finding talent um, in France and also helping develop, develop them. And with the Institut National de Football came success. They won their first major tournament, which was a European championship in 1984. And in 1988, the Institut National de Football moved to Clairefontaine, which is a forest right outside of Paris where it is still there today. Um, and, you know, more success came. They won their first World Cup in 1998 on home soil. Uh, led, and that team was led by legends such as Zinedine Zidane, Marcel Desailly, Didier Deschamps, who is now the current manager, like I said, and Laurent Blanc. And um, in 2000, they won their second European Championship. And after that, they kind of had a dry spell. They got second place in, two, in the 2006 World Cup and second place again in the 2016 World Cup. But in 2018, they won their second World Cup, um, which was in Russia. So, opinion. Uh, L'équipe de France a été beaucoup critique dans le passé pour, le, pour la diversité de l'équipe. Critique surnommant l'équipe Black, Blanc, Beurre parce qu'il pense l'équipe n'est pas vraiment française. Je pense que les Bleus sont très spéciales et uniques. L'équipe est composée de joueurs qui ont beaucoup de différentes origines culturelles. En France, si vous êtes assez bon, alors vous allez jouer. Pour les joueurs, ils disent qu'ils sont français d'abord et leur origine culturelle ensuite. Ils jouent, euh, ils jouent tout pour le pays, la France. Uh, le supporter, the supporter chant qui ne sautait pas n'est pas français. La culture de foot en France est très inclusive. Dans les États-Unis, pour jouer avec les meilleurs, un enfant a besoin de beaucoup d'argent et c'est le seul moyen pour les jeunes, pour les jeunes joueurs de, de se développer. Donc, ceux les enfants avec beaucoup d'argent vont être réussis avec le foot. La culture the culture de foot dans les états unis sont moins inclusive. So the soccer culture in the United States um, is nowhere near in comparison to France. Uh, in the US, 
for a kid to really develop in soccer and to have soccer as a as a career, they really need to have a lot of money in order to play um, for club teams and travel teams in order to play against the best opponents uh, in order to get better. And not every kid has that opportunity. The French national team gets criticized a lot for the diversity of the team and for the different um, ethnicities and original cultures of the team. But I think that's what make, makes the French national team really unique. No matter who you are, where your background is from, how much money you have, if you're good enough in France to play, you will be given an opportunity to play. And if you're good enough, um, then you're able to have a spot on the team. Uh, there's really no barriers and it's really inclusive. And I think, honestly, that's why France is now such a big dominant power in the world of soccer. Here's the vocab. And that is all. Merci.